In this video, we are going to look at arthrokinematic assessment and treatment for the ventral capsule of the elbow joint. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tudors. The aim of roll glide assessment is to gain information on reactivity of the joint and of course articular problems such as capsular limitations. In the elbow, we can perform roll glide assessment in the humero ulnar as well as the humeroradial joint. For this assessment, the patient lies supine. In case of the humero ulna joint, the humerus is the convex joint partner and the ulna is concave, so we will roll and glide in the same direction. Now, abduct the patient's arm to around 70 degrees while you stand lateral to it. Pronate the forearm and grab onto the distal forearm with one hand and place the other hand on the ulna as proximal as possible at an angle of 45 degrees as this will be the gliding direction. Then perform the roll into extension with the distal hand and glide into dorsal and proximal direction with the other. As an alternative for limitations of end range extension, the patient can lie prone with the elbow crease on the edge of the bench. Then grab onto the distal forearm to induce the roll and place it in pronation and place the base of your other hand over the olecranon. Now roll into extension and add the glide into dorsal and proximal direction with approximation. To assess the humeroradial joint, the patient is in the same position as for the humero ulna joint. In this case, the humerus is convex and the radius is concave, so we will roll and glide into the same direction. Stand on the medial side of the forearm, supinate the forearm and grab onto the distal radius with one hand. Then place the base of the other hand over the radius as proximal as possible at a 90 degree angle. Then induce the roll with one hand by performing extension and add the glide component with the other hand into dorsal direction. Assess for movement quality during roll and glide, possible pain provocation and end feel. For end feel assessment, roll and glide to end range. Then assess if further gliding is possible or not. In a hypo mobile joint, the glide is reduced relative to the roll component, so no further gliding is possible. If you feel that the end feel or movement quality is abnormal, you can directly move further from assessment to intervention, as the movements that are performed are essentially the same. When used as an intervention, make use of the Maitland grades of mobilization to dose your techniques. Check the video in the top right corner to learn more about that concept. Okay, you've reached the end of the video and if you like, you can check out more videos on manual therapy in the playlist on the left. Again, check the info icon in the top right corner for the featured video and also take a look at the links in the video description down below. At last, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will let you know once we upload new videos. As always, this was Andreas for Physio Tutors. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.